Hello, today we're going to talk about how to integrate the Oculus Quest controllers in our virtual world or in our scenes using the Oculus Quest integration and also the and also Unity. Also, we're going to talk about how to add the grabbing functionality so our controllers or our custom custom hands are able to grab different objects within our scene. Cool, so first things first, let's open Unity Hub. Once we open Unity Hub, once we open Unity Hub, let's create a new project. Let's call it VR Oculus Controllers controllers let's call it like that and let's wait until unity creates project real quick quick thing we're gonna get we're gonna get the oculus integration and make sure yeah we already downloaded it if you haven't downloaded it just import it this step is, is something that you you should know if you have done this before if not i'll recommend you to watch uh, my one of my other tutorials where i explain how to set up the uh, unity uh, to do development with uh, the oculus quest so this is a process that you should already know by this by now First things first, uh, let's go ahead and update the name real quick uh, of the scene. Uh, let's call it Oculus Controllers. It's going to reload. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open the Oculus folder. And then we're going to open the VR folder. And over the VR folder... We're gonna find out the prefabs folder and let's find out, uh, let's find a VR player controller prefab. Let's gonna click on that and let's gonna drag it into our project. Let's not update or upgrade anything at the moment. Now, <clears throat> if you are familiar or you remember my, you watch my, my previous tutorial uh, where I explained how to set up the, the environment. Well, the OVR player controller, controller already has the OVR camera rig, which is the one that is needed for uh, setting up the, the environment to develop or to, to display uh, or to view whatever we're gonna display within our virtual reality environment uh, using the Oculus Quest. Therefore, we're gonna remove the main camera. Once we remove the main camera, we're good to go in that aspect. Now, here's the part that is gonna be the most important for you. Once you include the OVR player, uh, you're gonna open the OVR camera rig. Then you're gonna see the tracking space. Let's expand that and you're gonna find that there are these <clears throat> left, hand, left hand anchors and right hand anchors. In here, we need to include a prefab that is provided by the Oculus integration. For this case, what we need to do first is to go to the sample framework. Let's go to and let's click on or you will find out custom hands folder and over the custom hands you will see that there are a custom hand left and then a custom hand right. Now let's select each hand and let's drag it and let's include it within the left hand anchor make sure to to include it in this way if you do it in that way it's not gonna be it's not gonna work so include it in this way once you do so you should see a plus icon so let's go ahead and let's do the same process with the right hand we're gonna include it in the right hand anchor good now let's select the custom hand left and we're gonna see 
within the spectrum that it's got some functionality available for you. And this is something that I'm gonna explain to you once we, we, we do some, we include some grabbing functionality. But as you might see, it already includes the OVR grabber. This script is kind of important because it allows you to grab objects available within our VR environment. So this is pretty important. And if you if you see in here, you'll see the grab begin and grab end. What these uh, two, two properties mean is the, the range where you can start grabbing a particular object or you can release an object based on the the strand you are using with your controller to to grab your a particular object in, in VR and then you will see these grab volumes this is kind of important because if it will allow you to basically include the physics um, or to have that <clears throat> to interact with the objects that have colliders and finally, but not least, um, we're gonna have this controller, and this is gonna be the L touch. You will see several different buttons, but we can just leave it for the time being on the L touch. And if you cannot see or you don't know which L, which, which is the button, the L touch button within the in the controllers, you will see an image somewhere in. The screen displaying which which is which and finally you will see the parent transform and the player the parent transform it's gonna be our left hand anchor because this is the the one that tracks the the position of the of the left hand so we're gonna drag from the left hand anchor into the parent transform and then the player, the player is going to be the OVR player controller. This is important because it will allow us to keep uh, the position of the... Setting this to it, it will allow us to keep the position of the hands uh, based on the location or rotation of the, of the player. So for example, if I move my... if, if I move forward the... The Z axis, the Y axis, or the Z, uh, the X axis, to any of those, the hands will will move with with the player. So it's not like you're gonna move your hands, or you're gonna move the player, and your hands are gonna be behind. So this process, we're gonna do it the same way for the um, for the right hand. And if we go to custom right hand, we click on it, and we're gonna drag and drop the right anchor right hand anchor into the parent transform as well as the OVR player controller we're gonna drag and drop it within the player cool so we're good to go there and as a quick test uh, another thing that I want to do real quick is I would like to change the tracking uh, origin type so for that we're gonna click on the OVR camera rig. Once we click on that, let's find the tracking origin type and let's change it to floor level. Okay, so I'm ready to test this. I'm gonna make sure that the settings are set to Android. In my case right now, they are not set to Android, so I'm gonna switch it real quick. So it finally switched to Android. Uh, let's change this real quick, this text compression to ASTC also let's go to player settings and let's change this configuration as well this is something that uh, you should know by this by now let's include the virtual reality SDK under the XR settings let's include the oculus I don't want to upgrade right now. Cool. And then let's remove the Vulkan Graphics API. After removing the the Vulkan uh, option, then let's set the minimum API level. Nougat, Android 7, and we're good to go there. Perfect. Let's close. And 
make sure that you have connected your Oculus Quest. Select the Oculus Quest and let's click on build and run. Let's give it a name. The APK of Oculus controllers. And let's build. And this is a result. Um, we were looking at the hands right now and we see all the different options, all the different gestures that our hands can do. And that's because I'm pressing several different buttons. Um, so I'm just getting a sense of what, what's available for me. The only thing that it's missing is, well, we have hands, but we don't have anything to interact with. We don't have anything to, to manipulate or wrap. So now what we're gonna do in the next section, we're gonna build a different, a different object uh, so we can uh, add a grabbing functionality. It seems that we have hands but nothing to, to manipulate in our virtual world. Let's go ahead and let's, let's create an example of how to manipulate and grab objects within the virtual world. For this particular case, I would like to create a mini soccer type of environment uh, where we're gonna create a grass and we're gonna create a soccer ball. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a plane, a 3D object, and we're gonna click on plane. Good. Um, let's make sure that this plane is somewhere located within our OVR con player controller. If the player controller is located, um, by default it should be located under the Y axis is zero. Make sure to move it a little bit up just so you could see so your so you can detect the plane. Cool. Or well, you can see the plane. Now these planes look a little bit too pale. This is gonna be our grass. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the asset store. And you're gonna click on or you're gonna find grass what I did I personally use the free assets uh, especially for purposes of it of the video and let's find the notch nature materials ball one we're gonna click on that and we're gonna if you haven't downloaded it um, download it and if you haven't imported we're gonna import all of these uh, options. So we're gonna click on import and let's wait until it, it imports all these, these assets. In my particular case, I already had it. So uh, once you once it finish, finishes importing the, the asset, it will have the folder name of QS. So once you see the QS folder, just gonna click on it and let's gonna expand it. Uh, you will see the QS textures grass folder. We're gonna find also the textures within the texture grass folder. Let's open the textures and you will see several different textures. You will see if you click on any of the textures uh, how it looks. And I personally like the very first texture. And I'm gonna drag, gonna drag and drop it on the plane. So our plane, and now we have grass within our virtual world. The only thing that is missing is our soccer ball for our virtual environment. So luckily, there's something out there in the asset store available for us to to get the soccer ball without really the need getting the need to finding it or to creating it and as you can see there's something out there but if you want to find it just type soccer ball in the asset store and find the option that says low polygon soccer ball once you see it make sure to download it i already had downloaded it and now i'm gonna import it so we can include it within our within our project let's go back into our scene and if you see the assets folder 
it includes the soccer ball folder. Go ahead and find the prefabs and within the prefabs folder open it and you will find the soccer ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna include that soccer ball within our within our scene. Now that it's included within our scene, the very first thing that I'm noticing is that this soccer ball is not in a good position. I'm gonna move it somewhere up above the grass and um so that's fine. And the, the other thing that I'm not liking it at the moment is that my camera I'm not able to see the, the soccer ball, so I'm gonna move it within the Z axis. Perfect. Now I can see the soccer ball within the environment using the OVR camera rig. Now remember the main goal that we wanted to to get with the soccer ball is to give or to give give the, the, the grabbing functionality to the hands. Now if you remember, if we go back to the OVR camera rig tracking space and then we pick any of our any of our custom hands either left or right you will remember that there was a OVR grabber script well this OVR grabber script in order to work there's gonna be two things that our object needs to have and one thing is to make sure that the objects got a collider. In this particular case, uh, our soccer ball already had a sphere collider, so that's fine. The second thing that we need to have is to include a rigid body. We need to give to apply physics to our object, and that's what the rigid body does. And if you want your object to to behave uh, using gra like for example use gravity and fall based on the position y position you can include it and i think that for the soccer ball that will apply perfect so we can test it real quick with we'll click on play and the soccer ball falls so that's perfect so if we leave it somewhere above the grass that's gonna fall and it's gonna be um it's gonna be always on the grass, so that's fine. Now let's leave the use gravity check. The other thing that we need, we need to include another script. And this script is gonna be the OVR grabable script. This grabable script is gonna allow it to interact with the OVR grabber script. So we could have the grabbing functionality. If we go ahead and take a look at this snap position, Let's go ahead and check this property. And what does what this property does is it's gonna update the position of the soccer ball based on the position of the object that is grabbing the soccer ball. In this particular case, it's gonna be my hand or the hand, either the left hand or the right hand. Basically, if you just move your hand under left and right, um, up and down. Your soccer ball is gonna follow that position is gonna be updating based on the position of the hand i think that that's all if we wanna test this let's go ahead and build it with ctrl b and i'll see you soon with our demo of the soccer ball and being able to grab the soccer ball like now we're in our virtual world, we have the grass, we're on our grass, we can see the soccer ball. Uh, and remember that we can grab the soccer ball with the L touch if it's the left hand or the right touch with um, the right touch. Um, yeah. But, you know, I forgot to tell you something. Sometimes the soccer ball might be far from here. Sometimes you need to walk all the way there or all the way to a different section. And what you could do is <clears throat> if you select, you use the left controller and you find the joystick, you can move that joystick and that will move you throughout your virtual world in case you don't have enough space within the real world 
so you can you know move around within your virtual environment now let's gonna test it and yeah we're grabbing the soccer ball perfect it's kind of weird that we grab the soccer ball and it's uh we can't <laughs> We cannot see our hands anymore, but while grabbing the soccer ball, we're able to release the soccer ball after we release the trigger. If you notice, our soccer ball never bounces. That's kind of weird. If you just drop the soccer ball, well, you will expect to bounce a little bit, right? As a bonus point, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to the assets folder. That's gonna create a new folder. And let's gonna call it materials or let's call it better physics materials once you create a folder <clears throat> one more time let's create a new physic material and let's gonna call it bounce cool now if you take a look at the bounce in the spectral section the bounciness is set up to zero let's gonna change it and let's set it to one once you set it to one we're gonna drag and drop it to our soccer ball let's test it to see if it's gonna bounce so let's hit on play here real quick and now our soccer ball is bouncing if you want to increase the bounciness on the decrease the bounciness um you can set it to 0 0.5 0 0.8 but just remember that the maximum amount that you can set to the bounciness is gonna be one so we can set it to 0 0.8 let's say and that should affect we can test it one more time and you might see that there the ball bounces less so there you go that was my bonus point and go ahead and let's test it one more time within our virtual world so let's go ahead and let's build it and see how that goes we're in our environment again we have the soccer ball we can see the grass again now let's grab the soccer ball and let's see if it bounces release it I see some bouncing, let's try one more time, yep, it is effectively bouncing, this was a success guys, look at it, I'm gonna see if I can grab it, release it with one hand and yep, I can grab it with the other hand at the same time, that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was pretty helpful for you, uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave me a thumbs up and if you would like to be notified for future videos regarding VR development, please subscribe. And I see you until the next time.